COVID-19 is putting us in touch with the reality of suffering. What I've learned about suffering is that there is almost nothing worse when someone is suffering than denying it, avoiding it, or glossing it over. Suffering can be so excruciating that it's no wonder that we don't always know how to walk with one another through it. But accompanying one another through suffering is something that all of us are going to have to learn. As someone who has served as a hospice chaplain and a spiritual companion to survivors of domestic violence, I'd like to offer three simple tips. First, try not to make light of someone's suffering. It can take a lot of courage for a person to reveal pain to you. Receive that pain with respect and focus your energy on compassionate listening. Second, if a friend or loved one is suffering, allow them the space to find their own path toward healing and be sensitive to their needs. A kind word, simple gestures, and providing trustworthy presence can go a long way in alleviating suffering. Finally, try not to allow suffering, your own or anyone else's, to blind you to other dimensions of daily life, and do not take on suffering alone. Suffering may dull us to the beauty of life, but it is not something that we must bear alone. Allow suffering to serve as a bridge into greater solidarity. Turn to God first and foremost, and to a trusted companion who can help you bear your own suffering and be that trustworthy companion to others who suffer. Even if what you are carrying is overwhelming to you, we have a God who knows well how to walk with us through all that we go through. My prayer during this time of pandemic is that we will learn from the compassion of our God how to walk well with those who are suffering.